Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Today I want to talk a little bit about revenue recognition. This is actually something that a lot of my students have had trouble with and so I wanted to um, I want to put together a video kind of with some strategies that I have come up with when dealing with revenue recognition. And so when I'm talking about revenue recognition, what I mean is how do we record a transaction that has to do with revenue? Okay, so what I normally do is I draw a box and this is kind of a yes, no kind of thing. Okay. So when you're trying to decide, is this revenue? Okay, the first thing that you want to ask yourself is, did you do work? Because remember, revenue is all about whether or not you've done the work. It doesn't matter when you get paid. It's really all about when you do the work. Okay, so did we do work? And I'm going to say yes and no. And then the other question you want to ask is, did you get paid? Question mark. Okay, so we're asking, did we do work and did we get paid? Okay, so let's look at these scenarios. We'll say that this is yes and this is no. Okay, so let's start with did you do the work? Yes, we did the work, and yes, we got paid. Okay, so yes, we did work, and yes, we got paid. So over in this box, if that's case, the case, we're going to record a revenue account and cash, and cash would be your debit. Okay, so now let's follow. Now let's do the next one. Did you do work? Yes, we did work, but no, we did not get paid. So what do we have here? We well, still have revenue because you did the work. And since we did not get paid, that would be accounts receivable. And accounts and accounts receivable would be your debit. Okay, so accounts receivable is the account that we use when customers have not yet paid us. Think about that's your holding account, accounts receivable. Okay, so that's money that we're going to receive later. So now let's do the other column. Did we do work? Nope, we didn't do work, but we got paid. So essentially what's happening is a customer is paying us in advance for work we have not done yet. So we don't have revenue but we did receive cash because we got paid. So cash is going to be my debit. But what's my credit? Well, I owe the customer that work. So I have to have a liability. That liability is called unearned revenue. Okay, and don't think just because you see the word revenue in there that that is a revenue account. It's not because it's unearned revenue, which means we have to go earn it, so that is a liability. And then finally, did you do work and did you get paid? Well, if the answer to both of those questions is no, then we have no ent entry. Okay, so that's essentially used for circumstances where maybe you signed a contract, but no money has changed hands yet, Maybe that's the case where you've agreed to do work for somebody, but again, no money's changed hands yet. Okay, so those are the basics of revenue recognition. The questions you should be asking yourself whenever you're doing revenue recognition is you want to ask, did you do work and did you get paid? Every time you deal with a revenue transaction, if you're not immediately sure what to do, ask yourself those two questions. Did you do work? Did you get paid? Okay, so let's look at let's look at a journal entry. Okay, and I had some th something similar to this in one of my classes. Um, so 
we are ABC company. Okay, and um, ABC company bids a job for, we'll say, $5,000. Okay, the customer accepts the bid. So accepts the bid, a little messy there, and pays a $2,000 cash advance. Okay, so this is a pretty, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on here, right? So the ABC company, who's, that's us bids a job for $5,000 and the customer accepts the bid and pays a $2,000 cash advance. Okay, so you should know by looking at this, notice I said cash. Okay, so clearly if I'm doing my journal entry, I'll say accounts, debit, and credit, Okay, set up my column. So if we were going to do a journal entry for this, okay, we know that there's cash involved. How much cash is involved? $2,000. Okay, it doesn't matter that the contract was five because the customer didn't pay us five. The customer paid us two. So my cash is increasing. Cash is an asset. And because my cash is increasing, I'm going to debit the account two thousand dollars. Now what is my credit? Okay, well ask yourself, did we do work? Mm, nope, we didn't do any work. Okay, but I did get paid, right, for at least part of it. So yeah, I got paid and that's, hey, we've got our cash in there. My other account is unearned revenue, $2,000, okay? So I didn't do any work, but I did get paid. Now the $5,000 we're not concerned with, okay, not today. Now let's go a step further with this, okay, let's say, let me go back to my purple, okay. So let's say that in the future, let's say ABC company completes the job. And bills the customer. For the balance. Okay, so now we complete the job and we bill the customer for the balance. So now let's go back to, let's go back to my questions, okay. Did I do work? Yes, I did work. Okay, how much work did I do? Well, it said I completed the job. So if I completed the job, I did $5,000 worth of work. So my first account is going to be revenue. And you could call that fees earned, you could call it whatever you want to call it, but it is, it's a revenue type account. And so, just so we get my column straight here. Okay, so how much work did I do? I did $5,000 worth of work. Okay, so now we got to think to ourselves. So we said we build the customer for the balance. How much does the customer owe me? Well, I did $5,000 worth of work, but the customer paid me $2,000 beforehand, right, when we signed the contract. So I'm my account's receivable, right? Did I 
do the work? Yes. Did I get paid? No. So my other account is accounts receivable. And I'm going to debit accounts receivable for the amount they still owe me. Okay. Now my debits and my credits don't balance. I'm off by $2,000. So now I have to say to myself, okay, where does the other $2,000 come from? Well, if you look back at the previous transaction, remember I've got a liability for $2,000 sitting here. I have this liability right here. So I have now worked off that liability. So I no longer owe that customer $2,000 worth of work. So my other account is going to be unearned revenue because I no longer have that liability. I worked it off. Okay, so those are the basics of revenue recognition. So make sure you ask yourself, did you do work? Did you get paid? Okay, those are really helpful. And then when you're dealing with unearned revenue, you have to make sure that you pull the funds out of that account once you've done the work, which is what we did here. Practice it.